how universal is that among the, the locker room that you guys know that people don't expect you to win this game? Uh, I think it's huge. I think all of us, you know, we don't listen that much to the outside noise, but we know that people don't, you know, think we belong here. And we're just controlling what we can control and, um, you know, just going to do what we've done this whole entire season. And um, it's a chip on our shoulder that no one thinks we should be here. And we, we want to prove, prove people, you know, why we belong here. Your guy, Brandon Wimbush, of course, the report came out that he's looking at transferring possibly. You know him so well. How would you describe how he's managed this year? Oh, he's managed this year amazing. You know, he's helped me a ton when I come off on the sideline, you know, on and off the field throughout the weeks. And, you know, with the news that broke, um, you would think it'd be a big deal. And he's focused on what's going to happen on the 29th and just kind of shows the person Brandon is and um, how focused this whole entire team is for the game. So it was fun for me to watch when I was up there with you guys a couple weeks back, your reaction to being on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. How's your life changed over the past couple of months? And don't tell me it hadn't because I won't believe you, <laughs> and neither will America. Um, yeah, it's changed. You know, I'm being able to live out the dream I've always wanted to. And, um, you know, just, I guess, you know, more people might recognize you here and there. And it's just kind of part of the position. And, you know, I'm just really taking it all in because it's something I've wanted to do since I was in third grade. So. You know, just being able to live out this dream is, you know, I just feel really fortunate. Last thing, Clemson's really good defensively. Yeah. They got some dudes up front, but it looks like Dexter Lawrence may not be available. What, do you, what have you seen his impact is as you've studied that defense? Oh, I mean, he's a great player. Their whole entire defense, you know, speaks for themselves. And, um, you know, it's, it's something we haven't even talked about as a team because none of us know what's going to happen. And, you know, we're, again, we're just controlling what we can control. And if he plays, he plays. And, um, you know, he's a great player. And I think, uh, you know, it'll be a great matchup, and I think all our offensive line, just everyone on the team is excited for that matchup. One of the big narratives is doubt. It just is. To what degree do you think doubt drives your young men? A, a little bit, but um, they're, they know they're pretty good, too, and, and, and that's a good thing. So they've played um, a pretty good schedule all year. They've played really good football teams. They've been consistent. Um, so doubt there's a little bit there that fuels them maybe a little bit but at the end of the day I think they feel like let's go play uh, we'll, we'll let everybody talk about it but let's let's get on the field let's play and let's find out news comes out about Brandon Wimbush and his potential desire to maybe go somewhere else what are your thoughts on that I think he's earned whatever decisions that he wants to make he is uh, a graduate of Notre Dame he's got a year of eligibility left he should leave all his options open um, and, and that's what we talked about. So he's gone through the process. He's put his name into the portal, which that's the way to do it. He's focused on these, these next couple of games, and then he'll make a quick decision as to whether he'll come back to Notre Dame or whether he'll transfer. So we'll support him 100%. He's earned it. You've coached a lot of really good teams at Notre Dame, sir. What separates this one? Balance. Balance. We're, we're good in all phases. Um, Defensively on the front, linebacker, defensive back. Um, we can throw, we can run it. Uh, it's a pretty good football team in all areas. Obviously a lot lies ahead for me. Um, maybe this is not the way you want it to be talked about, come to the Cotton Bowl <laughs> towards the end of the year, but man, it's been an awesome year and uh, I'm excited. But like, like, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot that lies ahead for me personally, but you know, I'm preparing for uh, the 29th and I'm looking forward to it. What will go into your decision to stay at Notre Dame and take a graduate year or move on to another program? Um, sometimes you have to look out for your personal best interest, and I think this is one of the times that um, is going to impact my life in the long run. And um, I just want to have an opportunity to go fulfill my dreams, and I think you know my decision that I make uh, will allow me to do so. When do you think you're going to want to have that decision made? Uh, after this game, after we wrap up this bowl season, after the seventh, and you know we we, we head on to the uh, the national championship, God willingly, and then um, after that, I, I think I'll make my decision. To a man, everyone in this program lauds your selflessness in how this season has unfolded. What have you learned about you this season? Uh, I can deal with adversity pretty well. I think that was the biggest takeaway that I've taken from this season. Um, I think these guys around me have done a phenomenal job of embracing me, um, embracing the quarterback room, and I think that's been one of the biggest factors to our successful season thus far. If you're done at Notre Dame, if, how would you describe what you left in South Bend? Uh, I think it, it, I, I get speechless, man, when I try to talk about it, Marty. Um, it's been a phenomenal experience, and I mean, even this guy here, Chris Fing, my roommate, I mean, one of the guys that has impacted my life on, a, on an immense 
um, level, and I can't be thankful enough um, for the people that I've come in contact with here at Notre Dame.